Hey, what's up guys? Preston here, Citizen Response. Got another video coming to you guys today talking about these guys right here. Uh, Infinity Targets, um, why you might want to take a look at picking one of these up as a tool for your range training. All right guys, before we get started, um, anytime that a company and I work together, I like to be totally transparent. Um, about where the product came from, how it happened. So uh, I reached out to Infinity Targets because I was really interested in this product, uh, something for my own personal use um, and potential use for others. So I reached out, they sent me um, not only this target, the one that we're talking about specifically today, which I put um, a few thousand rounds through, they actually sent me a few other targets um, for the Concealed Classic tournament that I put on. Um, they sent me three targets to use for the match and then two targets to give away. So super grateful to them for that, um, for sponsoring that tournament. It turned out great. Uh, everyone had an amazing time, but just wanna be totally upfront. Um, I did not pay for these, but I'm also not being paid um, to give this review. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about what this is. Um, what this is, it is a kind of rubber material, a hard rubber self-healing target. Um, the idea on the website is it's made from recycled materials and that you're supposed to be able to get uh, 3,000 rounds plus or minus 1,000 rounds um, usability out of these targets. So essentially the idea, uh, you can see lots of the clips I'm rolling in shooting this target. Um, you shoot it, you go, you hit it with some white spray paint or whatever color you want, um, and it reseals your hits and then shows your hits in black when you hit them. Um, it's actually really cool, pretty high visibility way to see your hits. Um, it's good enough, uh, you know, some people may complain that um, line breakers are hard to tell, but it's pretty obvious what are your A zone, C zone, D zone. Um, so that's kind of the idea behind this target. All right, guys, let's go ahead and talk about this specific target right here. Uh, I reached out to Infinity Targets uh, and got this one back in August, and this is the one that I have shot the most. This target in particular has a little bit over 3,000 rounds through it, the majority of those being 9mm handgun and a few hundred rounds of 5.56 through it, not much. Like I said, the majority of the rounds that have gone through this uh, have been through handgun. This particular target has been taken out for 13 range trips now. Um, some of those range trips were only with me, so it was just me putting about 100 to 150 rounds down range, getting some good practice in. Uh, others were actually having, you know, somewhere between me and a buddy or even up to five shooters on the range uh, shooting these targets. So at one point, uh, this target got like 500 rounds through it in one day. Um, so that's just kind of an, uh, an idea of the durability um, and how often this particular target has been shot so we can really get a good idea of what value you're getting out of this target. So as you can see, um, definitely well used. I have a little hole in the A zone here because it's been shot so much. Um, but I haven't done anything to repair it. Uh, Infinite Defense has some resources on how you can repair your targets, but for the sake of the review, I wanted to present it uh, unadulterated. The only thing that I've done to this target uh, is just the normal spray painting between uh, shooting it. Um, no special um, repairs have been done on this target. Let's get into the pros cons. Um, why you might wanna look at a target like this um, and have it in your toolbox, your arsenal of range gear uh, to get better as a shooter. Uh, the first thing I think is versatility and weather. Uh, I think it's super important to have a backup plan. I've had multiple range days where the weather went south and I was not prepared for it. Uh, I did not know that a storm was rolling in. Uh, I drove an hour and a half to the range and it started pouring. Guys, if I did not have this target, I don't know what I would have done. Uh, I have like a few steel targets here and there, but I think the value that you get from shooting something like this, uh, something that steel cannot replicate, um, so this particular target saved me on two different occasions in the rain. Um, yeah, as you see the clips I'm rolling in, I'm shooting in the pouring rain and the spray paint is actually sticking perfectly fine. And I'm able to get good tracks of my hits and see where my hits are on the target. Um, so that's a huge plus for one of the reasons why you might want to check out this target. Second benefit of a target like this is being able to flip it quickly. What I mean by that is if you're doing a high volume of shooting range day with a few buddies or something like that, you start putting a lot of holes in cardboard and it becomes difficult to track all of those hits and figure out exactly where your rounds are going, which is the entire point of shooting on a target like this or cardboard and not shooting on steel, is knowing exactly where each one of your rounds are going for the highest accountability. So this target gives me the ability to flip it quickly. I just hit it with a can of spray paint, all the hits are covered up, we move on to the next guy, we shoot the next run or stage or whatever you wanna call it. So I think the ability to save time and flip your target quickly instead of having to chase holes with a paster gun 
or doing it manually or with the Sharpie uh, is a big benefit and a big reason why I would get this target. Another big benefit to this target, I think it's actually one of the biggest benefits, is um, shooting within very close quarters. We're talking about uh, arm to arm and a half length dis distance shooting, which is important for concealed carriers to practice, in my opinion. Um, and so being able to shoot this versus cardboard is huge. Uh, if you've ever practiced uh, retention shooting on a cardboard target, you know you probably will blow chunks off the target, assuming the target even stays on the, on the stand whatsoever. So this target uh, takes those hits much, much be more beautiful than a cardboard target does. Uh, it allows me to see exactly where my hits are going, uh, starting off from a thumb pectoral index, tracing up to a compressed ready, all the way up to a full uh, extension. So when I'm shooting, I can see exactly where my rounds are going. I think that's a huge win. Uh, being able to shoot this in close quarters safely when compared to cardboard or obviously steel doesn't work. Let's talk about value real quick. So this particular target listed on their website is $100. Okay, it seems like a high price definitely. Um, and you're going to get about 3000 rounds plus or minus this one's right at 3000. So I would say this is an accurate representation of what you're going to get. Now, a pack of USPSA targets with shipping is going to be somewhere between $75 and $100. So for math's sake, let's make it $1 per USPSA target. Let's say if I was only shooting 100 to 150 rounds out of this, onto this target, uh, and it was just me shooting by myself, I'd probably get at least 30 to 40 range trips out of this target before you start to have this pitting happening. Um, USPSA, if I was using one target per range day, uh, I would probably get 175 to 100 range days um, before I was out of target. So it's something that you need to think about for value uh, with what you need and what you practice. Um, so some people may not find any value out of this target. They um, just want to use cardboard targets, um, shoot them up a little bit. Uh, they don't care about chasing it with a paster gun and move on to the next thing. This target may not be for you. Um, so I think the value is something that's going to be relative depending on your needs. Um, even if you are the kind of person that you already have everything in your setup figured out, I think it might be beneficial to throw one of these uh, in your range kit or leave it out at your range because it's completely weatherproof. Um, and so if you run into that inclement weather on a range day, you don't have a wasted range day and you can still get some really good training uh, using this target. Now I mentioned um, using this target as a target for when you have multiple shooters going out. One thing to think about is if you shoot with the same group of guys very often, like you have a crew or whatever that you go out to the range, instead of one person buying it and everybody using it, you could split the cost of this target. Um, and then that would benefit everybody um, and it would make uh, your range days run smoother, uh, more efficient, and it would be less of a cost to each individual. So just something to think about. All right, now let's talk about cons. There are a few cons uh, with this target. The first one I wanna cover is usage of hollow points. I'll actually show you right here. That's where I accidentally shot it with a hollow point. These targets do not work with hollow points. Uh, FMJ, the way the round passes through, it allows it to self heal and the target lasts much longer. Hollow points do not do the same thing. And so that's one negative with this target is you really can't use it for zeroing your carry ammo or let's say your rifle hollow points. Um, so whenever you need to go zero your pistol dot, you're gonna have to use paper or cardboard. You're not gonna be able to use this target or at least if you want it to work as intended. All right, another con, being completely honest, um, as this target uh, ages with wear in some of the areas where it gets shot more often than others, it becomes more difficult to pinpoint um, exact hits, right? If I'm throwing hits right in here, I'm not gonna know exactly where my shot landed. Now, this may be a con if you're trying to focus on shooting really, really tight groups and that's your goal with this target. But I use this target more as a competitive target um, and obviously for defensive style training as well. I don't care where the round goes here in the A zone. If you're using hit factor scoring, it doesn't matter whether you hit at the bottom corner or you hit at the top. You get five points either way. Um, so it's not as big a deal to me. I actually prefer using it more just to trace my hits in the C zone because I don't really wanna be throwing D zone hits, but it's nice to be able to quickly see um, if I threw a round on a stage with a C zone, I don't really care where it went in the A zone. All right guys, final thoughts on the Infinity Target. Uh, I think it's a unique target, uh, can give you some advantages in your training um, that maybe just relying on steel or cardboard may not. Does this completely replace every other target that you might use? No, they all have their pros and cons. They all have their place in training. 
but I think for serious competitive and defensive shooters, uh, it's something that you should have in your arsenal in case you ever get inclement weather, you wanna train some close quarters stuff, or you just wanna have a more smooth, efficient range day. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope the information provided to you is useful. Um, if you get one of these targets, let me know. They're pretty cool. Um, let me know how it works out for you, your experiences. Uh, as always, at the end of my videos, uh, I like to present an offer to you. Um, I've sent out a lot of uh, chronological Bibles for free. I think it's a great uh, tool for exploring your faith. Um, if you're new to the faith or you don't have a faith at all, um, it's a great way to learn about um, who Jesus was, what he did, um, why he did it for you guys. Uh, so you can ask for those. I'll send you one out totally free. Um, citizen response, um, my Instagram, you can DM me or you can shoot me an email at citizenresponse1 at gmail.com and I'll get you one over. Guys, as always, get out there, train hard, stay safe.